We're back with a terminal return, Black Survival video. Today we're checking out Alex, who is the newest hero to come out in ERBS. He is a melee ranged also stealth assassin guy with multiple weapons. He's pretty cool. Uh, we're going for the whole character now, and um, yeah. So you can see this Alex right here. Looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. Not too bad, got the chains everywhere. If you like this style, grats for you. Anyway, his weapon. So he uses Tomfist, as you can see. Um, Tomfist are great. He also uses swords. Not too bad. He uses shurikens. And he uses pistols. All at the same time. So, instantly you're going, holy shit, how do I play this character? So for the most part, what happens is, is that you have a melee stance and a rage stance. And with that, you can pick your weapons options from there. And they all share mastery. So if you start with, you start with a Tomfa, and you eventually go to two-hand sword, it's it's totally viable. So you probably see a lot of weapon swapping going on with this character in fights and also throughout the game. So let's go to the passive. Infiltration. It's a stealth. Who doesn't love stealth? Alex cloaks after a few seconds of not attacking, starting at level six. Enemies cannot see Alex when outside of his detection range, which is probably like, you know, just radius of like normal like um vision detection or vision in general uh when cloaked his movement speed is increased if an enemy is within a certain range his weapon mastery levels also increase equally when equipped with a melee weapon his hp and defense are increased so mainly i think the idea of this ability is that you can travel across the map without being seen so you can see down here in the corner um magnus can't see the alex while he's stealthed up but if he gets close you want to see him which is interesting, but also you get increased movement speed when they can see you. I, I don't know if like, maybe the vision range of this is a bit different to actually the range of being seen. Possibly, it'd be hard to tell. We'll have to see when it comes out eventually. So the melee skills, the first one, incursion. Alex charges towards a target enemy, dealing damage. Hitting enemies increases your attack power. He can gain multiple stacks and he can also receive stacks of Gore's pistol, which is for your, um, your range Q. Um, I'm going to assume this is like a set and not a certificate, sorry. It's not a skill shot. I'm going to assume it's like Kathy. In saying that, you do get a buff for hitting people, which normally means landing some sort of like, you know, pro skill shot. But then we have Emma, Polymorph, so who knows? Probably not a skill shot though. W, Dead Drop. Alex tosses his Dead Drop in a target location, dealing damage to enemies hit and pulling them towards the center. This is the exact same as uh, Emma's uh, hat and her, when she holds onto it. Which pretty much means it's a CC, uh, CC tool. During the pulling, you'd be CC'd. It's not a stun, it's not like a knockback. You just can't react pretty much. And you can't do anything while getting pulled in. So instantly, big thumbs up for uh, my boy. A melee character having CC, could you imagine? Alex's E ability is double agent. So Alex turns invisible and dashes a short distance in a target direction. You see here he is backwards slightly, leaving behind a hologram. Now the hologram is like a totem it taunts people around it you can see a little radius when it appears and forces them to attack it it doesn't have hp like barbara's turret so it's actually more like an actual ward you can see here mag is throwing the four damage at only probably takes three hits to kill which is very very good now while you're invisible you can swap weapons this is where the multiple weapons come in so you can go from melee to range stuff like that and in saying that also when you swap the weapons you unstealth which isn't that good obviously but you get to go back in again. Uh, the big circle around you is the um, the stealth. They can see you, the enemy, the Magnus. He can see you. But also, you get increased movement speed while they're in this circle. So you can rush back in at any point. He can't really attack you because obviously he's hitting the totem. And you just go to, go to range mode. Shoot him up. Do some big damage. Have fun. Uh, range Gore's Pistol. Alex fires his Gore's Pistol, dealing damage to enemies hit. If Alex hits an enemy, his attack power is increased for a short amount of time. So pretty much, if you land the Q, it gives you a stack, or an, uh, what do you call it? A stack to shoot your Q in range form. So you normally can't use, the, use this ability otherwise, which is pretty interesting, I guess. It's not that far. It's pretty much the same range as the uh, Q in melee form anyway, but hey, why not? Range, recognition signal. So it's kind of the same as the other W, but this one blows up instantly. And when you hit them with the uh, ability, you get increased attack range, which seems pretty decent, honestly. Um, don't know how long it lasts for. If that's the duration right there, and this is like normal speed, it's not very long. <laughs> it's like, what, one, two seconds max? So not very good. But hey, it does, view, uh, does give you vision, and also, you know, it's damage nonetheless. 
Now, the blowback is the range ability on the E. Uh, passively, when you're range, I assume you get more attack speed. Alex throws an electric shuriken in target direction, dealing damage to enemies hit, stepping backwards, becoming invisible. At the decaying slow as applied to enemies hit, remain invisible, I've uh, used the skill, same as last time. So you swap weapons if you're invisible. Once you swap, you're no longer invisible. Looks pretty good. Again, I think the circle is just the uh, detection range for them to see you, but you get extra movement speed while I can see you, I'm pretty sure. So, hey, not too bad. The ultimate, EMP Barrage. Alex strikes a target location, dealing tons of damage. Uh, the enemies in range and more damage people in the middle. It does damage over time, and also the initial hit does damage also. It's pretty much a massive ultimate from Zaheer. I guess it's slow, which is pretty good value, and the radius is pretty massive. You don't have a stun, really, as this hero, outside of the taunt. But you might be able to taunt in melee form into that ultimate, and that might be pretty good damage. It is a slow on top of that, remember that. And plus you're whacking them with auto attacks too. And that's Alex. Looks pretty good, honestly. He's coming out in a couple of days. Melee, range, stealth, assassin. Looks kind of crazy. The weapon pathing or the weapon, what do you want to call that? The uh, the build pathing is insane right now. There's so many options. Looks really, really cool. It might be a hero where you swap weapons all the time. Not in the actual sense of like in a fight, but you might, for example, play as Tom Fizz and like pistol and you might find a pedal torrent, take the pedal torrent, maybe find a legendary sword like Leviathan or whatever it's called, pick up that weapon. Lots of cool options here. And obviously the weapon skills also. From, you know, day zero assumptions, I'm going to assume swords and pistols are the best options because pistol skills busted. And then swords are just really good. They're just better than Tomfist for scaling. In saying that though, there is a lot of like cohesion with swords and shurikens. Mainly because of the, uh, the steel you can make with iron plus scrap metal. But we'll see when it comes out finally in a couple of days. And um, yeah, looks pretty good.